What's up guys, it's Glitch Gaming here and today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do the apartment transfer glitch. So with this glitch you can get unlimited money and with this method of the glitch you can also make modded outfits so I will make another video on this for how to do modded outfits but this video is specifically for the unlimited money part of it. So if you are new around here and you have not yet seen my channel then do click the subscribe button and press turn on notifications so you do not miss out on any of the latest GTA 5 glitches. Now with that being said, if you do need any more help with this glitch then just comment down below and I'll try and apply it to everyone. Or I am going to leave a link in the description to a thread on 7 Sins that also has the founder on there too, so check him out. But that is basically a written method to this glitch so if you want to check that out just go and have a look at that. And of course, once this glitch gets patched, I will comment and pin it down below saying patched. Now let's get into it. So this glitch you might recognise on my channel, but this is a different method because Rockstar tried to get it patched. But anyways, to start off, what you want to do is go on to your first character, or it doesn't really matter what character you use, but just go on to any character and you want to purchase the most expensive apartments in slot 4, 5 and 6. Now once you've done that, it has to be in them slots. You want to go to your other character and you want to purchase the least expensive apartments in slot 4, 5 and 6. So it must be in slot 4, 5 and 6 or this doesn't work. And you don't have to get the most expensive ones but of course if you have the most expensive ones you will get the most amount of money off this. But anyways once you've done that and you're on the character which has the least expensive apartments you want to leave GTA Online and go to story mode. Once you're in story mode go to creator and when you're in creator you want to go to load creations and once you're on load creation you want to hover over published then go to your network and you want to turn it off then go back to the game and as soon as you get on the game you want to spam X or A and, and you'll see like a slight alert pop up and you should get a long loading screen if you've done that then you'll you've done it correctly but once the loading screen ends you'll get another alert just accept that alert and you will then come up to the next part which what you want to do is press the pause button and just hover over the online tab as you can see then go back to your network and you want to turn your internet back on then go back to the game and I hope I'm not confusing you here but try and go along with it and then you just want to wait for the menu thing to pop up so as you can see there, I'm going to press X and I'm going to hover over Play GTA Online. Then I'm going to go back to my network and I'm going to turn it back off. And then I'm going to go back to GTA and I want to wait until the hidden menu behind the screen comes on. As you can see, you want to go down to Play GTA Online, hover over that. Then you want to go to network, turn it back on and you want to go back to GTA Online. And this is the hard part. Now when you get to GTA again you want to wait until you see the pop-up menu and you want to spam X instantly as soon as the menu pops up and keep spamming it until you get the alert screens that I get now if you don't get the alert screens and you get something like your PSN has been restored or something then it means that the glitch has been done incorrectly and you need to try again now once you get this alert that says the Rockstar services are currently unavailable or something you want to continue and then this will spawn you into story mode and it'll be all glitched out and you'll be basically frozen on the floor but you can move now there is a few things that can go wrong that's the only hard part of this glitch sometimes you might do it very fast and it still might not even work but what you want to do is you'll know if you've done it right if when you continue and it will take it into story mode exactly like this now if you need more help or you keep getting stuck then comment down below or again check the link in the description and that will take you to the written thread which might be more better for you guys to understand because there's a lot of turning it on back off and there's just quite a few steps it is quite easy just until you get to that spamming part you just want to wait until the menu pops up where it says play GTA online and all of the rest of it and as soon as that pops up you just want to keep spamming XRA about eight times until the alert screens pop up 
and if you get the correct ones you will turn up like here I am in the video so once you've got to this part you want to turn your internet off again and when you come to back onto GTA Online you will get a black alert screen and once the alert screen comes on you want to go back to your internet turn it back on go back to GTA and you want to accept the alert now this will take you to GTA Online you should see in the bottom right corner if it doesn't then just keep trying to turn your internet on and off until you see the join in GTA Online uh, sign at the bottom right screen sort of thing so as you can see there it only took me one try and these alert screens will take a little while so just hang on and you want to wait until it spawns you in and the first spawning you will get spawned onto your online character which will be the character with the cheap apartments then it will automatically put you back into the sky and then you will get another alert another long screen sorry another long loading screen and once that's finished you will then get spawned in as your online character and it doesn't matter what character you're on but what you want to do is press right on the d-pad I think it is just hold right in the d-pad to bring up the little wheel in the bottom right corner then just go to any story mode character and just press on the story mode character this will then take you onto your story mode character but you will now be online as your story mode character so you can check in the lobby that you will be online as Michael or Trevor or whatever you want to be so that's how you get online with your story mode characters but if you're here for the money glitch of this I'm going to show you now but this can be a bit of a pain to do every single time if you I think you get about 1.5 million from this every time so if you think it's worth it to do it then you can but if you want to wait just wait for another duplication glitch on my channel they're a bit better but now from here you want to go to one of these special plant things I forgot the, what they're called but you could just go to the same location that I do on the map and I think oh, actually yeah it's a coyote plant or something like that but what you want to do is go over to the plant and eat it then this will basically transform you into any random animal now in this recording I didn't get the specific part on record so I'm going to put some text on the screen of how to do the next steps so hopefully this helps and of course if you need more help then just check the thread but once you spawn as a animal character what you want to do is get someone to kill you or just get someone off the street to kill you or just die and then when you when you respawn you should be invisible your player should be invisible you but you should still be a uh, animal then once you've done that you want to go to the pause menu and you want to press on swap character and then when you get to the swap character sp screen you want to select the character that has the most expensive apartments on it in my case that's my male character but after you've done that once you spawn in you should spawn on your second character with the least expensive apartments on it and now you've done so when you go to the apartments you want to buy the cheapest apartments and you want to swap them for slot 4, 5 and 6 so what this has done is basically turned your cheap apartments into the most expensive apartments so you've transferred over the prices from the most expensive ones to the cheapest ones so it's a bit hard to understand I know I do get it but it does explain everything in the thread if you want to go and check that out so this glitch in my opinion is best for the modded outfits which I will make a video on tomorrow probably but anyways if you want to do this then feel free to if you want to wait for a duplication glitch that's fine but if you did like this video leave a like subscribe and until next time see you